anyone diagnosed with this dreadful disease is going to be absolutely devastated. Now, the Hospice of St. Francis has a fantastic facility uh, in a support group of people suffering from this illness where um, patients can meet up in a, in a friendly environment, informal environment, to talk about the illness and giving support to each other. Now, during the pandemic, we haven't been able to meet up. Um, but what, what's happened is the hospice has arranged um, informal Zoom meetings so patients can still keep in contact, which is brilliant. This, this, uh, this is like a family and people feel alone with this illness and the, the Hospice of St. Francis provides this facility and I can't thank them enough for providing that and the professional support they give to each patient. I was just going to ask, has it been sort of um, going digital? Um, people with this illness will naturally will be shielding. They'll be on a government at-risk group. So they're, they're uh, movement outside is restricted. Been able to meet up with like people who understand the issues that we have, the problems we have, ha the health issues we have and how we feel um, is invaluable. And, and again, under the, the guide of the hospice, the staff at the hospice who are absolutely fantastic. Now, apart from that, in between the meetings, the hospice have been contacting all the patients to inquire um, how they are, if they need anything, if they need any support, any help, any advice, whatever. So they haven't just sort of said, look, we can't meet people, so we just leave them alone. They haven't done that. Thinking about, um, obviously, people that don't, don't currently have this, the support of like the hospice or a group like this, what would, you, what would you say to them? But I would strongly recommend it because these support groups are informal. Um, they're very friendly. It is like a family. You get to know people. And sadly, we have lost some really lovely people we've met over the years. And the way I look at it, that my life has been enhanced by knowing some of these people. Lots of them are inspirations. And it's knowing people like that gives you, I don't know, the confidence, the support um, to deal with your own situation. There's always someone in a, a phone call away who can give you some advice on how to deal with these situations. That's invaluable. It all allows us to continue our lives in the best possible way that we can in the circumstances. Now, the pandemic has obviously caused a, a big issue in able to do that. But that facility is still there, hasn't gone away. So my recommendation to anybody who has this illness is join your local support group, wherever that is in the country. And if it's in the Hertfordshire area, particularly Hospice of St. Francis it is an excellent support group, second to none. Everyone who has this illness, hopefully, have got a carer, um, a member of the family, a friend who can support and help them. Now, sometimes it's just as difficult for the carers as it is for the patients in dealing with this illness because they're going to share the same frustrations. They're going to share the problems about to deal with situations, whatever. So they also need support. Now, that is something that is offered by the Hospice of St. Francis. They do have special carer meetings and they are in contact with the carers to understand the issues that they're having to deal with and, and understanding that. So they have informal meetings where they can talk about these situations and learn from it. Why not go along and try it? If at the end of the day, if I'm no, sorry, this is not for me, fine. Because people contact me and they, they say, look, I've got this illness and, and I've just been diagnosed, whatever. And they're devastated because what do they do? What do people do? You go to Dr. Google, don't you? Mm. And that the bottom line is you've got a maximum of three years to live. It could be a lot less. It could be less than a year. That's what you're going to read. And you think, oh, my God, you know, your stomach just hits the floor. Just tell us, um, Peter, how long have you been diagnosed? Um, 2013, November 2013. So it's just so going to be seven years. Well above your, you know, when you were saying one to three years. I'm, I'm past my sell-by day, is that what you're trying to say? Uh, no, not at all. Use that as an example to people. Don't mm. give up hope. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm an, an example of that. I, think I can see I can see one bow in the distance there. Oh, stop it. On the horizon. You always does Just this. about. Why did you ask, Claire? 